Hey everyone, how y'all doing? My name is Mateo and I am from Machine Masters. I'm going to show you today a technique that I use that helps me make the vocals that I mix really pop in a mix. This is something that every professional mixing engineer uses. So every pop song or every hip hop song or every rock song, anything that you've heard where those vocals are in your face and popping, uh, this is one of the things that contributes to that. So. Open up your choice of DAW and uh, bring up a session that you're working on and pull up the vocals that you want to work on and pick a couple of your favorite compressors. Today I'm working on a session that I produced, uh, recorded, and mixed for uh, an artist that I've produced a number of songs for. Um, I'm going to show you what I did to his vocals. First, I'm going to have you take a listen to his vocals and you can hear what they sound like in the mix. Whether you coming from the south side or the east or west, better be down a ride. This revolution's never, never been televised. Baby, the way you walking, I gotta make you mine. I see you packing some heat in that dress. Oh, sex, no sweat, got you dancing on your feet. We flex. Cool. So you can hear his vocals. It's quite clear in the mix. Uh, it isn't fighting with, a, uh, with anything else. Um, that's due to a number of factors, but I'm going to talk specifically today with you about compression on vocals. In every vocal that I mix, uh, I always have two compressors running one after the other. And the two compressors that I use the most uh, when it comes to vocals are the uh, SSL Duende Channel Strip and the Native Instruments uh, VC2A. So. Um, it doesn't really matter the type of compressors that you're using. This can be applied to any compressor. I just use these two compressors because of their particular flavor and how they respond to sound. And that's, that's a preference that uh, any mixing engineer will have with any various compressors that they use or even just plugins in general. I have a lot of stuff um, that's, uh, that's going on on this vocal. I'm going to bypass all that and we're just going to focus on the compression on the vocals. So I'm soloing the vocals, I'm going to remove the other stuff just so we can hone in on the compression. Now I'm going to bypass the compression so we can hear uh, what this track sounds like without the compressors. Whether you coming from the south side or the east or west, better be down a ride, it's revolution. Still sounds good. Um, I mean, I did record everything very cleanly. So now I'm going to play you the vocals with the compression going on. Just going to remove the filter and the EQ so they don't really affect anything. Whether you coming from the south side or the east or west, better be down a ride. This revolution's never, never been televised. Baby, the way you walk and I gotta... So that's with the compression on. Now I'm going to play it again, and I'm going to switch between bypassing and engaging them so you can hear uh, more clearly what's going on. Whether you coming from the south side or the east or west, better be down a ride. This revolution's never, never been televised. Baby, the way you walking, I gotta make you mine. I see you packing some heat in that dress. Oh, sex, no sweat, got you dancing on your feet. We flex, rapping out, yeah, we work to be the best. All girl. So every time I was engaging and disengaging the compressors, you could hear a couple things. Um, the vocals with the compressors in really bring up certain nuances in the vocals that were hard to hear without them. There seemed to be more presence in the vocals. And this is some of the uh, benefits of using compression. Um, you know, compression brings out subtleties and sounds that we don't normally hear until we compress them. So another benefit is that with compression, it helps to level out the audio. Now, what some of you are probably thinking is, okay, great, yeah, you've been going on about compression, two compressors, whatever. Why are you using two compressors? I'm going to use an analogy to help describe this accurately. So imagine if you had to carry a person by yourself. Think of the amount of strength that you have to use to lift up that person on your own. Think of that as compression, and you are a compressor. Now imagine if you had another person helping you pick this person up. The weight is now distributed between the two of you 
And you're no longer working as hard to lift this one person because you have another person helping you lift the other person. This is the same thing with compression. When you are using one compressor, that compressor has to work harder to achieve the same gain reduction that you could achieve with two compressors using less compression each. And this also helps because with the two compressors working together, one compressor can catch the signal that the other compressor doesn't necessarily catch right away. So they kind of help each other out. They work uh, in, synchron uh, in synchronous. So that's the logic behind using two compressors. Now, you could go crazy and you know, daisy chain 10 compressors together. That's a little overboard. I usually keep it at two compressors, maybe three depending on the signal. Distributing the compression am uh, amongst the two compressors, you're less likely to get pumping and artifacts. Now, I'm going to show you the same vocals, but with one compressor instead of these two compressors that I'm using. So I'm going to bypass them. And I'm going to pull up the generic uh, Pro Tools compressor, the Dyne 3 compressor. Great compressor, by the way. Now I'm gonna pull up the, just a preset over here, vocal comp, all right, sounds great. I don't know why it has a ton of gain up here. We're just gonna bring it down. I like that it's on a low ratio. That's a, a little tip for you guys right there. I usually use low ratio for compression. I don't go crazy with it. Um, so let's hear how this sounds on these vocals. Whether you coming from the south side or the east or west. Okay, cool. I'm gonna bring that down. Uh, I'm gonna bring the threshold down, um, or I guess up. Um, so I, I don't really want to get more than about six decibels of gain reduction because that's a little excessive. I like to still uh, leave some sort of dynamics in my vocals. So I'm going to aim for six decibels of gain reduction. Whether you coming from the south side or the east or west, better be down a ride. This revolution's never, never been televised. Baby, the way you walking, I gotta make you mine. I see you packing some heat in that dress. Oh, sex, no sweat. Got you dancing on your feet. We flex, rapping night. Okay, cool. That's roughly about six decibels of gain reduction. So let's compare this compression against uh, the other form of compression that I use. And uh, by the way, I'm targeting six decibels of gain reduction because that's approximately what these two compressors are doing together. This one's handling about three decibels of gain reduction and this one's handling an additional three decibels of gain reduction. So six decibels in gain reduction in total between these two and six decibels of gain reduction with just this one plug-in. So let's bypass this compressor, the, uh, the Avid compressor, and let's engage the other compressors and hear them. Whether you coming from the south side or the east or west, better be down a ride. This revolution. Whether you coming from the south side. Okay, there's clearly uh, some loss of gain. So we're going to raise this by about six decibels because that's roughly the amount of reduction we're applying. So we should hear it about the same now. All right, close enough. Whether you coming from the south side or the east or west, better be down a ride. Whether you coming from the south side or the east or west, better be down a ride. Whether you coming from the south side or the east or west, better be down a ride. This revolution's never, never been televised. Baby, the way you walk in the game. There's definitely more of an aggressive sound coming out of the one compressor. That's not what I really want to go for. I really want to go for something more subtle. So as you can tell, these two compressors are sound a little more subtle, a little more natural, as opposed to just this one compressor doing the same amount of gain reduction. Now let's bring it in context with the rest of the music. So let's hear this compressor. <laughs> Whether you coming from the south side or the east or west, better be down a ride. This revolution's never, never been televised. Baby, the way you walking, I gotta make you mine. I see you packing some heat in that dress. Oh, sex, no sweat, got you dancing on your feet. We flex, rapping. All right, let's bring the other compressors in. Whether you coming from the south side or the east or west, better be down a ride. This revolution's never, never been televised. Baby, the way you walking, I gotta make you mine. I see you packing some heat in that. All right, so 
subtlety and not so much work going on for the two compressors as there is for the one compressor. So you guys try that out. Tell me what you think about it. Uh, I'm always looking to hear about other people's experience about techniques that I share. And uh, lastly, thanks for tuning in. And uh, feel free to tell me in the comments below what you guys struggle with. And uh, I'll see what I can do to help you guys out. Until next time, uh, happy mixing, happy music making. And I look forward to doing more of these Mix Mondays with Machine Masters and all of you. All right. Everyone, take care. Going straight to my